you have seen uh, the index properties of soil, uh, wherein you have you will also seen how to determine those index properties. And these index property tests uh, you'll be conducting even in your uh, lab, soil mechanics lab. Okay. So now after conducting uh, the test, we need to know what type of soil it is, like that classification. So whether the soil is sand, sand, sandy soil, whether it is clay soil, or whether it is silty soil. So we need to know what type of soil it is. So for that, uh, we have one uh, IS score which specifies how we can classify the soil. Okay, so based on the index property. Okay, so we'll see that in this chapter. So we use IS classification, that is Indian Standard Classification, given by IS Code 1498, 1970. Okay, and it is reaffirmed in uh, 2002. So the soil is divided into six groups. So six groups starting from boulders to clay. Okay, so you can see the uh, size in this more uh, clearly. Uh, you can observe boulders which are more than 300 mm. Okay, so this is as per IS. So if you go for other classifications, there are uh, unified classification, okay, so which is given by US, you know, BS classifications, there are British standards are there. So we follow here Indian standards, okay. So this is uh, 300 mm and above sizes, it is called as boulders. So 300 mm to 80 mm, so you can see 300 mm, how much centimeter it is, 30 centimeter boulders here. To 8 centimeter, it is cobalt, and uh, 80 to 20 mm, it is coarse gravel, 20 to 4.75 mm, it is fine gravel, okay, and from 4.75 to 75 micron or 0 0.075 mm, we call it as sand. In sand, again, you have coarse, medium, and fine, so that is what we did uh, now in the grain size using the grain size curve. So we can, we can know how much coarse, medium and fine sand is available, okay. And then uh, we use hydrometer analysis to know how much portion of silt is present and how much clay particles are present, okay. So that is uh, 0 0.075 mm to 0 0.002 mm, we call it as silt and less than 0 0.002 mm, we call it as clay, okay. So like this. The classification, or uh, we we will know whether it is gravel, sand, silt, or clay. Okay. Now, as per IS, we use the index properties to classify the soil. Okay. So now the main classification is coarse grain soil or fine grains. Soil. So this is the main classification. So now we differentiate coarse grained and fine grained soil from this side, that is 0 0.075 mm or 75 micron size. So if particles, okay, if the soil particles are, right, uh, say 50%, or more than 50% is having particle size greater than 75 micron, then we call it as coarse grain soil. If the soil particles are having more than 50% of soil particles are less than 75 micron size, then we classify them as fine grain soil. So this is the major classification. Okay, one is first is the for whether the soil is coarse grained or fine grained. So this is dependent on 75 micron size. Okay, so how we come to know how much particles are uh, more than 75 micron or less than 75 micron from the grain size analysis? Okay, so from that we will come to know whether it is coarse grained or 
fine grain. Now, once we know if the soil is coarse grain, so we will we have to find whether it is gravel or whether it is made of majorly sand. Okay. So when we are classifying coarse grain soils, we usually go for grain size distribution curve. We find out Cu and Cg and we classify the uh, coarse grain soils. Whereas when we have to classify again further classify fine grain soils, whether it is silt or clay. So if the soil is fine grain soil, along with the grain size distribution, we need uh, liquid limit, plastic limit, and the plasticity chart to again further oh, classify yeah. the soils. Okay. Now in coarse grain, you have whether it is sand or gravel, and in fine grain, you have whether it is silt or clay, or whether the soil is plastic. So if it is plastic, it contains more clay, or whether it is non plastic. So if it is non plastic, it means silt portion is more. So finally, if you see, to classify a soil, we require the sieve analysis okay, and the Atterberg limits. That is the limits, liquid limit, plastic limit, okay, and the plastic uh, plasticity index. So these three we require to classify uh, fine grain soil. So now in coarse grain soils, we can classify whether it is gravel is more or sand is more based on the sieve size 4.75 mm. Okay, so this part uh, you have to understand it very clearly. How to say whether it is gravel or sand? It is mainly on the sieve size 4.75 mm. Again, from the grain size distribution, we can know whether major portion is uh, more than 4.75 or less than 4.75, okay? So if it is uh, more than 50% is above 4.75 mm size, then we term it as gravel, and other ways it is sand, okay? So gravel and sand, we have to see with respect to the percentage which is above 75 micron C. So when we are doing the problems, it will be more clear. So, but now, First classification is whether the soil is coarse grain or fine grain. Okay, and if it is coarse grain, how we can uh, say whether it is gravel or sand? So for coarse grain and fine grain, it is 0 0.075 mm particle size, and for gravel and sand, it is 4.75 mm particle size. So in Indian uh, standard uh, soil classification, the soil is majorly divided into three major divisions. Coarse grain, fine grain we have seen now. And one more division is there, which is organic soil. Okay, so we, or uh, even peat, which is having a decomposing uh, vegetation and all. So its volume keeps on changing. So peat is given as a separate uh, classification. We call it as Peat, P, P T is the classification. So now again further, coarse grain soils they are divided further into eight groups, and fine grain soils they are divided it further into nine groups. Okay. So we'll see this. Uh, what are the symbols we use? So when we are classifying the soil, uh, we use symbols uh, to say whether it is gravel, whether it is sand, whether it is uh, having uh, more of clay particle or silt particle that way. Now, say suppose if we get uh, coarse grained soil, okay. so it is gravel and sand, correct? And if it is fine grain, it will be silt and clay. So if we are getting coarse grain soil, so the primary uh, letter we use is G if it is having gravel and S yes, if it is having sand. So other than that, so this is the third classification which we use for peat or organic soils.
the organic soil we use O and for peat we use P. Okay. So now this is the primary layer. Now when you see the soil, it will not have simply only gravel or only sand or only silt or only clay. It will be a mixture of all these. Correct. So that is why uh, when we are classifying, so the major portion first we will classify whether majorly it is having gravel, sand, silt or clay. And after that, we use one more secondary letter to classify coarse grain and fine grain soil. So when it is coarse grain soil, we use these four symbols. That is well graded, poorly graded, non-plastic fines and with plastic fines. So this is for coarse grain soil. So when do we use this? Uh, kindly mute your mic, please. Whoever is uh, it is on. So when we say for gravel, so from uh, the grain size graph, okay. you have seen well graded, poorly graded, isn't it? Uniformly graded and all. So we can classify based on that only for the coarse grain soils. So now if the percentage fines okay what is that fines percentage fines means the particles less than 75 micron size or 0.075 mm size so if this is less than if percentage fines is less than 5% in the soil so when you do the grain size analysis you will know how much percentage of soil is passing 75 micron here or less than 75 mm, 0 0.075 mm size. So if it is less than 5%, okay, then we use these two symbols. Okay, that is well graded or poorly graded. So how we term it as well graded and poorly graded, that is based on PC and EU values. Okay, so we use well graded and poorly graded when the percentage fines are less than 5%. So well graded will be if it is gravel, okay, if the primary symbol is G, then uh, CC should be between 1 to 3 and CU has to be more than 4. Then we call it as well graded. If any of these two conditions do not satisfy, say now CC it is 1.5, CU is 3.5. So then it is poorly graded for gravel. Okay. So both of the conditions has to satisfy. Or say if CC, it comes to be 0.8 and CU, it comes to be uh, say 4.2. So then also we call it as poorly graded. Okay. So both the conditions has to satisfy. All right. So then we call it as well graded gravel or so gravel if it has to be cu should be more than four okay and cc should be one to three now whereas if it is for sand then cc should be one to three and cu should be more than six okay so if it is sand if the primary letter we got as sand and uh, we get uh, cu as more than six and cc one to three then it is well graded. If any of one of the conditions do not satisfy, then we call it as poorly graded sand. Okay. So this is when percentage fines is less than 5%. So now when the percentage fines, so when the percentage fines, okay, so if it is more than 12%, okay, percentage fine. So then we use uh, these two symbols okay so please don't get uh, uh, with the secondary letter and the primary letter okay primary letter we always use it first okay whether it is g s m or c and the secondary letter now it is so g w it means it is well graded gravel so like that okay we need not again now uh, 
say it is well graded d w itself means well graded gravel say if i write it as d m what it means it means gravel with non plastic fine that is what it means d m so this is the secondary letter okay so that is what so now when we will use this uh, m and c as secondary letter is when it is a coarse grained soil and if the fines percentage fines are more than 12% now in the grain size analysis if you see the percentage finer than 0.075 mm particle size is more than 12% then we use the secondary letter m or c okay so how we decide whether it is m or c so this depends on the plasticity index the plasticity index is what what is plasticity index we studied in the previous uh, that previous class how do you get plasticity index how do you calculate yes how do you calculate plasticity index hello how do you calculate plasticity index so liquid limit minus plastic limit okay so we'll use this plasticity index so if plasticity index so if it is uh, less than 4 okay then we use symbol m if plasticity index is more than 7 then we use c that is if you have more than 12% fines you have to refer to plasticity index say i have got primary symbol d now and i have got plasticity index as say 2 then i will write it as dm say if i get plasticity index as 12 then instead of m i will use the symbol c so now still i am talking only about coarse grained soils so any questions here till here no questions so if it is uh percentage fines are less than 5% you will use the symbol w or p well graded or poorly graded based on the values of cu and cc if the percentage fines is more than 12% then we won't use cc and cu and cc we will use plasticity index okay if it is less than 4 we use m secondary letter if it is more than 7 we use c so here it is clear now this is with respect to coarse grain so i have just finished only the coarse grain okay so nobody asked what happens if it is between 5 and 12% the percentage fine what will happen okay so if the percentage fines is less than 5 we use cu and cc classify the soil right as well graded or poorly graded if it is more than 12% we classify it with Uh, plasticity index we say whether it is with plastic fines or without plastic fines based on pi value so now if percentage fines is between 5 to 12% okay so then we go for dl symbol okay so dl symbol what it means is uh we use the primary symbol g okay and we check with the cu and cc value and uh, say whether it is well graded or poorly graded so one is that and since the percentage finers are between 5 to 12 we also use plasticity index and see whether it is m or 
so when we give the classification we call we use dual symbol in this case so otherwise it will be just simply gw if it is less than 5% or it will be gm if it is more than 10% so in between we use both the symbols together okay clear now one more i will ask see here plasticity index if it is less than 4 it is m if it is more than 7 it is c what about if it is between if plasticity index is between 4 and 7 then we will be using so this is possible only when more than 12% finds so more than 12% finds then only this is possible so if it is between 4 and 7 so here also we use dual number so we use it this way okay but please note we won't get symbol like this this is wrong this is not possible okay but dual symbol is possible only in this case gm gc if plasticity index is less than oh sorry in between 4 and 7 you use dual symbol gm gc that is only when fines are more than 12% okay so coarse grain classification is it uh, uh, clear so can uh, some of you say what are the possible symbols we can get just for the coarse grain soils coarse grain soil only is little difficult fine grain it is very easy okay so if you understand coarse grain fine grain is very easy so we can get say gw gp sw sp okay so these are the possible symbols we can get or it could be gm gc or sw sm sc okay so this is when this two are possible not is the uh so this is possible when less than 5% finds so this is possible when more than 12% finds so if it is 5 to 12% then we will have dual symbol it could be gw gm or gw G C or uh, it could be yes I'm uh, sorry G P G M or G P G C right or in the similar way you can have even for sand yes so uh, M S W E S T like this okay if it is between five to twelve. so uh, this is about uh, coarse grain points okay any doubts here in this okay i think uh, when we are solving the problem it will be much more clear okay so now we'll go to the fine grain soil so this is uh, only for coarse grain next is okay. for fine grain soil so fine grain soil uh, if you see the symbol we have m and c m is for silt c is for clay and when we are using fine grain soil uh, we will use these as secondary symbols l h i and h okay l i and h l refers to low plasticity i refers to medium plasticity h refers to high plasticity so this plasticity it is with respect to liquid limit okay value of liquid limit we say So if it depends on liquid limit and plasticity index. Okay. So if liquid limit is less than thirty five, we call it as low plastic. If it is less than thirty five, liquid limit it is low plasticity. If it is between thirty five to fifty, then it is intermediate. If it is more than fifty, liquid limit then it is 
high plastic. So then how we say whether it is silt or clay? Okay, so for that, we use uh, this plasticity chart. Okay, so this is plasticity chart, which is used to classify the fine grain soils. So you can observe here 35 liquid limit on x-axis. On y-axis, it is plasticity index. So if it is less than 35, you can observe here CL is the symbol we use or ml or ol so if it is organic soil then we use o okay otherwise it is clay and silt now if liquid limit is between 35 to 50 we use intermediate plasticity that is ci or mi or oi if it is more than 50 then high plasticity that is h symbol we use in the secondary thing ch mh or oh so if it is specified organic soil, then we use OL, OI, OH, okay? Else we use either M or C. So how we can say whether it is uh, C or M, okay? So we, you can see this line, right? So this we call it as A line, okay? So if you find the liquid limit and the plasticity index, the intersection between that, the values of this uh, got for the soil, it is lying below this A line, then we call it as silt or we use the primary symbol M. If it lies above, then the primary symbol will be C or it means clay is present. Okay. So in fine grain soils, so in fine grain soils, how we decide whether we use the symbol C or M? <clears throat> so, based on the plasticity index value and liquid limit value. Say plasticity index is uh, say 18, okay, and uh, say liquid limit is 35. Sorry, not 35. We'll uh, say it is 40. So I'll just see the intersection. So this is 40 and 18 is here. Okay. Plasticity index 18, it comes somewhere here. So now whether it is above the A line or below the A line, the point yes. Above the A line. Above the A line it is. So we we will use the symbol C and if you are referring directly this plasticity chart, so you get the symbol CI. Okay. So, so if it is lying here in this area, it is CI. Okay. So I'll just give one more example. Say if plasticity index, um, say if it is say 20 and uh, liquid limit, say if it is uh, 55, okay. So then, uh, somewhere here, so this soil or this here, the fine grain soil, it is MH. So you'll directly get it from this, or, uh, from this uh, chart, okay. So now say, suppose this chart is not given. Uh, still you can uh, find whether it is having high consistency or intermediate or low or sorry, high plasticity or intermediate or low. So by using this equation, IP is equal to 0.73 WL minus 20. So what is this WL is nothing but liquid limit. Okay. So liquid limit, so can you, anyone say what is the value for uh, this? So it is 55 minus 20. What is the value? How much value are you getting here? So this is, no, no, this is 0 0.73, no? Okay. How much? Uh, 
So now what you can do, you can, uh, so this is from, from the chart, okay? So from chart on A line, on A line, IP is for this particular uh, liquid limit value, it is 25.55. So you can compare for your sample, what is the value of PI, okay? So now here, if you compare, so 20 is less than 25.55, correct? So since it is lesser than that, it lies below the A line. So it will be M. And how do you give the term H? H when liquid limit, it is more than 50. Okay, so you get the second term MH. So even without this plasticity chart also, you can say what is the symbol. Now I'll just take for uh, this one, okay? For this particular one, what will be IP for the earlier value? So liquid limit was, I think uh, 30, no, 40, right? 40 minus 20. Can you say what is IP? So this IP is on A line, okay? On A line. What is IP on A line? For a liquid limit 40. Let's see. Again, I have written here. 0.73. What is the IP value? 14.6. And uh, IP value for this was uh, 18, I think, right? Uh, yes. Correct. So now you can see that this 18 is more than 14.6. Okay, so see, comparing this value also, you can say, so since 18 is more than 14.6, it will be above. So since it is above, you will get the symbol C. Okay, you need not use this plasticity chart. If plasticity chart is given, simply you have to see the value of liquid limit and plasticity index and see whether it lies above or below the A line. If plasticity chart is not done, you calculate the IP, the value on A line, okay, and compare it with the IP value of the sample. If it is more, okay, if the IP value of the sample is more than that on A line, then it is C. If it is less than, then it is M. Okay, so that is how you do. So without the chart also, you can actually classify okay any doubts here i'll just give one more example we just do it one more example with both the values right uh, with uh, both uh, from the Man, yes what is the use of green line here a line a line green ma'am green color line that's here okay that is dual symbol wait that i'll tell you but is okay. the other parts clear yes ma okay so now we will just take one more point, okay? Say suppose uh, uh, liquid limit is uh, 50 and uh, this, what is that? Uh, plasticity index, okay? So it is around 30, okay? So where will uh, it lie? So somewhere here. Is it exactly on this line? Okay. So we'll be using both C, I, C, H. Okay. Dual symbol. Is it okay? Is it okay? Now say suppose it lies on A line here. Okay. Then we will use the symbol. C H M H. Okay, very rarely it will occur, but in case it comes, it is this way. All right. Yeah. Now, uh, coming to this green line. So this shaded part it is used mainly for um, so coarse grain soil. So where P I, if it is less than four, you will get it as. Um, 
uh, M symbol, and if it is more than seven, it is C. Correct. So in between that, you will get dual symbol. Okay. And uh, in case if it lies in this region, that is between four to seven. Okay. Then you have to use the dual symbol C L M L. Okay. That is why it is highlighted, and also it is used for coarse grain soil also. You can use the same uh, this chart. So if it is lying above the yellow line, then you can use uh, C. If it is below the yellow line, then you can use Yum symbol. Okay. But usually that much high liquid limit and all won't come for. Sometimes coarse grain soil, if it is more than uh, say thirty percent fine, okay, then uh, there are high, uh, then you can use this chart also and you can uh, classify. Okay. So ideally for uh, fine grain it is not so difficult just uh, you have to use this chart or just the value of this ip if you remember 0.73 wl minus 20 you can easily classify the soils okay so now in course in fine grain soil you will have a primary symbol m or c and secondary symbol i sorry, l i and h Okay, so you can get ML, MI, MH, or CL, CI, CH. So based on the plasticity and liquid limit value. Okay, so I think this is uh, not much of confusion. Only the coarse grain, yes, it is a little uh, a lot of uh, things. Okay, so IS code gives this uh, chart. Okay. Uh, Are you able to understand? So whatever I explained, that is what is there in this chart. Okay. The so same thing. When you use G W symbol, when you have less than five percent fines, when C U is more than four, C C one point one to three. Okay. So D L symbol if it is between five to twelve. So if it is uh, more than twelve percent fines, it is G M or G C. So below the yellow line. Or plasticity in it less than four, you use GM. If it is above the yellow line, more than seven percent, you use GC. Okay, whatever I have explained, it is the same thing in the uh, chart. I will just share this chart after the class. Okay, we can just go through it. So now we'll uh, go for uh, classification. Okay, we'll solve few problems, then it will be more clear. Just take down this. Take down. So classify the soil. So you have to see. Uh, usually in the question, it will be mentioned whether it is inorganic or organic soil. Okay. If nothing is mentioned, you assume that it is inorganic soil. Okay. So only if it is mentioned as organic, then only you have to take it as organic soil. Otherwise, it is inorganic soil. Okay. So soil A will just classify. So we have to write the steps also for classification. So first, how we have to classify whether it is coarse grained or fine grained, correct? So how will we classify whether it is for coarse grained or fine grained? We have to use seventy-five micron C, correct? 
in that so percentage passing 75 micron so we will first see a soil a it is 14 percent right uh, percentage passing 75 micron is 14 percent so how much is retained or we can also use this so percentage passing 75 micron it is 14 percent so less than 50 percent passing 75 micron c hence the soil is what coarse grain soil so you have to write these steps okay you have uh, you have to write these steps hence the soil is coarse grain so this is the first okay next what we have to see whether it is sand or whether it is gravel now it is since it is coarse grain it should be either sand or gravel isn't it so how we'll see that the sieve is 4.75 mm sieve that we have to see so passing 4.75 is 92 correct so which includes even this 75 micron correct so totally so how much is sand how much percentage is sand how can you say passing 475 retained on 75 so it is 92 minus 14 okay so 14 it is clay and silt so passing 4.75 mm means it includes even this particle size also so this much will be sand how much is sand 92 minus 14 is how much? 28. 78%. Now, what about gravel? How much percentage? It is simply 8%. How did I get 8? Can you say why it is 8%? So passing 4.75 mm is 92. So 100 minus 92. Okay. So which is retained on 4.75 mm is gravel. So that is why it is 8%. So gravel is 8%. Sand is 78%. So definitely if you see this, you can say that so more than 50% is retained. Sorry, not retained. Uh, passing uh, 4.75 mm. Hence, soil is sandy. Sand, having sand. Or the primary symbol is yes. Okay. So, this is the second step. Now, next step, you have to see what is the percentage fines. So, how much percentage fines, which is passing 75 micron, so less than 75 micron, how much is that? 14%. So, this 14%, it is more than 12%, correct? So, for percentage fines, we have the thing which is 5% or 12%, isn't it? So less than 5, more than 12. So now it is 14%, which is more than 12%. Hence, it can be, it can be either SM or yes c correct this is how you will be classing you have to write all these steps okay? now you know that it will be either sm or sc how do you decide whether it is sm or sc based on plasticity index correct so plasticity index for soil a how much you can see here so liquid limit minus plastic limit which is 16 minus 8 or it is 8 percent 
So what is this now? So plasticity index is equal to 8%, which is more than 7%. Hence, the soil is yes. Okay, so this is the classification. I'll just write it, highlight it. The soil is yes. Okay, any doubts in this? So these steps, it will vary with respect to each soil, okay? Any doubts in this? Okay, we'll see the second one. Second one, B, soil B. We'll again start with the same. What is the first step? Percentage passing the 75 micron, right? So how much it is? Okay. 75, isn't it? So more than 50% passing 75 micron C. Hence, soil is fine grain okay so if it is fine grain what we will use we'll use the plasticity chart okay so plasticity chart we have this uh, liquid limit it is uh, 58 and uh, plastic uh, plastic limit is 14 so plasticity index will be 58 minus 14, which is how much? How much it is? 44. Huh? 44, no? No, how much? Correct. Huh? Okay. So now we'll use this and uh, we'll uh, mark it on the uh, plasticity in the uh, plasticity chart okay so plasticity it is uh, 44 somewhere here plasticity index 44 and uh, liquid limit it is 58 so it comes i think somewhere uh, somewhere here is it okay right no this so what is the soil? Hence, the soil is what? What is the symbol? C -H. C H. Okay, so this is the classification. So if it is fine grained, usually it is uh, quite simpler. Okay, C H. This is the classification. Now we can also use this uh, calculated value of IP and do, we'll do in both methods. So calculate uh, IP on A line, 73, okay. So WL minus 20. So this tell me how much value it is. So 0 0.73, uh, 58 minus 20, yeah. What is this value? on a line what is the value 27.74 20 7.74 okay so 27.74 now what uh, you have got is 44 so 44 is more than 27.74 hence it is C H. No, it is H. So from this you know that it is H. Correct? Highly high high plasticity. How will you know whether it is C? How will you know whether it is C? So and yes, liquid limit. Is more equal to 58 percent, uh, which is more than 50 percent. Okay, hence 
soil is C H. Okay. So both the methods you should know. Fine grain soil. If chart is not given, also you should be able to write. Okay. Yes. So any doubts in this? We'll go for the next one. Uh, just note down. So you can uh, just note down the first one. We'll just solve the first one. Very easy it is. Soil A. The soil A only you take. So what about this soil A? So please uh, tell me the steps. So first we have to say whether it is coarse grained or fine grained. Fine grained. Fine grained. Why it is fine grained? Because the percentage of passing through 75 micron is 100 percent. Yes. So more than 50 percent is passing 75 micron, right? So hence, fine grain. So please write the steps, okay? Don't uh, miss out the steps. Hence, fine grain soil. So next step, what it will be? Next. We'll use a plasticity chart. So liquid limit 150 beyond this, right? Plastic limit is 50, so well beyond. So we'll use the uh, values. So 150 minus uh, 20, just uh, check this value. How much it is? So this is on A 94, line. 94.9. Okay. And uh, calculated, it is uh, 150 minus 50, it is 100. So now, what it is, tell me. So hence, <laughs> what type? CH man. C H. So because hundred, it is more than ninety four point nine. So hence above A line. Okay. okay. So I think uh, B also will finish off. It's quite simple. B. Yeah. It's again a uh, fine grain soil, isn't it? Yeah. So more than 50% passing 75 micron. So hence, fine grained soil. <clears throat> the next step the liquid limit is 34, plastic limit is 20. We'll directly use this chart. We'll just see it is 34 and it is 20. It comes somewhere here. Okay. It is very near to that uh, line. Okay. So since uh, liquid limit is 34, so very near. To 35%, right? So 
So hence soil is P L. Okay, usually it is C L. So since uh, we'll usually give uh, two percent. Uh, so two percent less than thirty five, two percent more than thirty five. Will give dual symptom. Okay, so because sometimes experimentally there may be some. So it, this is very near to thirty five percent. The variation of two percent will give a uh, what you say some uh, factor of safety. So we'll use it as C L or P I. Okay, we'll use a real symbol. It's very near to this line. Okay, that's why. Okay, usually two percent will give that values. Okay, but uh, if we get it this way, we usually repeat the experiment and we'll see whether all the three values lie within this range. So sometimes it may come thirty six. For the second reading, so that is why we usually give this real symbol if it is very near to the line. Okay, is it clear? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, please upload the notes. Yes, yeah, I'll uh, upload it. I'll just ask the coordinator. Okay, and uh, if not, I will only upload. It. Right. So can we just uh, finish off one more? With the slide uh, because uh, continue. Time, time is over, ma'am. Time is over. Yes, ma'am. Um, we are class from four. Okay, okay, fine, fine. On uh, Saturday we we'll continue then. Good morning, everyone. In the previous class, we had started with the classification of soil. In that, we have seen now uh, we have two main uh, classifications that is coarse grain and fine grain soil. In coarse grain soil, you have again now uh, two more two classification that is gravels and sand. So to classify as coarse grained or fine grained, you're going to refer to particles smaller than 75 micron size. So if more than 50% is uh, smaller than 75 micron, then we call it as fine grained soil. And in case it is the other way, we call it as coarse grained soil. So to classify the coarse grained soil, totally there are uh, Eight groups in uh, coarse grain soil. So we require CU and CC value to classify the coarse grain soil. And in case the fines are more than 12%, so then we require liquid limit and plastic limit, or rather plasticity index, to classify the soil. 
So further in coarse grain soil, uh, we can classify whether it is gravel or sand. So this is based on sieve size 4.75 mm. So if more than 50% is retained on 4.75 mm, then we call it as gravel. Otherwise, it is sand. So in sand, if uh, percentage fines are less than 5%, then we use CU and CC values to classify whether it is well graded or poorly graded gravel or sand. So if CU value is more than 4 and CC value lies between 1 to 3, then we call it as well graded. And in case if either of the conditions does not satisfy, then we call it as poorly graded. So in case uh, the fines are more than 12%, then we use uh, plasticity index uh, to state whether uh, the gravel has uh, gravel or sand has uh, plastic fines or non-plastic fines. Fine. If plasticity index is less than four, then we call it as non-plastic with non-plastic fines. And if it is more than seven, then we call it as uh, having uh, plastic fines. So this way we classify the coarse grain soil. And uh, fine grain soil, it is using this plasticity chart. So in this, uh, we refer mainly the liquid limit and plasticity index. So we have uh, three with respect to, again, um, plasticity, low plasticity, intermediate plasticity, high plasticity, okay? So if uh, liquid limit is less than 35, then we call it as low plastic. Liquid limit between 35 to 50, it is uh, intermediate, and more than 50, it is high. So we have an A line, which is marked in red here. So on this line, uh, the IP value, we have a relation 0.73 liquid limit minus 20. So we can either refer this value and uh, state whether it is clay or silt, that is C or M. Or we can uh, use this chart directly and uh, wherever the values of you know, liquid limit and plasticity index intersect, so that will be the classification. So we had uh, solved a uh, few numericals last class. In this, uh, in the second problem, we had finished uh, A and B. So we have to do now C and D. So C, soil C, we will do. So what is the first, whether it is coarse grained or fine grained. So soil C. Whether it is coarse grained or fine grained soil. Fine grain soil. Fine grain soil. So we have to write why it is fine grain soil. So why it is fine grain soil? Uh, more than 50% is passing through 75 micron C. Yeah, more than 50% of soil is passing 75 micron sieve. So hence, soil is fine grain soil. So next we have to use <coughs> plasticity chart. So if it is fine grain soil, they have given uh, liquid limit is 60 and a plastic limit 30. So plasticity index is liquid limit minus plastic limit is 60 minus 30, which is 30%. So in the graph, if you see, 
so 60 and 30. so here it is above the a line so what is the classification hence the soil is highly plastic clay that is c okay so we can use even the value of ip so 0.73 wl minus 20 so 0.73 into wl is 60 minus 20 so what is the value here so 0.73 into 40 29.2 29.2 so if you compare with this so this is value is lesser or pi is more than this ip so hence it is highly plastic so it is uh, sorry it is uh, clay and it is highly plastic highly plastic because liquid limit is more than 50 percent so next soil will go soil D. So soil D, you can see it is 100% passing 75 micron. So again, it is a fine grain soil. So what about the other uh, so no other uh, they have given they have simply mentioned it is non-plastic so what does it mean non-plastic so when it is non-plastic it is usually silt okay silt and uh, they have not given any value of liquid limit or plastic limit Okay, so it will be low plasticity. Okay. So this will classify it as low plastic silt. So since it is non-plastic, it will be silt. And uh, since there is no liquid limit, it will be ML. Okay, so any doubts here? Just note down the next one. Soil E and F. Okay, soil E. So 
it is liquid limit 35 percent plastic limit uh, 20 percent percentage passing 25 micron it is uh, 20 percent gravel that is more than 4.75 mm it is 60 percent and sand it is 20 percent so whether it is coarse grained or fine grained Soily, yes, soily, well, whether it is coarse grained or fine grained soil. Coarse grain, why? Okay, so since less than fifty percent is passing through seventy five micron steel, then or hence the soil is coarse grain okay after this what we have to see now it is coarse grain soil the second step is we have to see whether it is gravel or sand so in this case they have given uh, more than 4.75 mm, it is 60%. So, which means more than 50% is retained on 4.75 mm steel. Hence, it is gravel or the primary symbol will be G, okay. So next step is, what we have to see, what is the percentage fines? So percentage fines is 20%, which is more than 12%. Correct. Hence, it can be either GM or GC. How we will decide whether it is GM or GC? So whether gravel has uh, plastic fines or non-plastic fines, it depends on which value? Plasticity index. Plasticity index. So we have to determine now plasticity index, which is liquid limit minus plastic limit. So 35 minus 20, which is 15%. So what is the condition to be GM or GC? Sorry? To be, PI should be greater than 7%. Yes, so this is more than 7%. So hence, the soil is what? G. G, C. So gravel with plastic, fine. Okay, so this is the classification. So, The classification is GC. So next we'll go for soil. Yeah. Classify this.
So what type of soil? Coarse grained or fine grained? So what type of soil is this? Yeah. Coarse grain. Coarse grain. So why? Because so less than fifty percent passing seventy five micron. See you. So hence it is coarse grain. So you have to write all these steps how you have classified the soil. Okay. So now second step is whether it is gravel or sand. So they have directly given percentage sand and gravel here. We can see that more than fifty percent is between. Four point seven five mm and point zero seven five mm. So hence, soil is sand, or the primary symbol is yes. So next step, percentage fines is ten percent. So it is between five to ten percent. Sorry, five to twelve percent. Hence, DL symbol. So DL symbol is what? It can be either SW, SC. Or it could be S W. Oh. Okay, so here anyway they have given it is non-plastic fines, so it it cannot be C. Okay, so it has to be M only. So either it could be S W S M or So it could be SW SM or it could be uh, SP SM. Okay. So since it is non-plastic fines, it can be only SM. Okay. So we have to see whether it is SW or SP. So how we can say whether it is well graded or poorly graded? So to classify. As SW or ESP, we need CU and CC values. So here data is not there. So you have to write data is insufficient to classify. Okay. So classify further. So now, what is the classification? Here you have to write it as S W S M or S P S M. Is it clear? Any doubts here? And why it should be S W? Because S W ranges from zero to five percent. No, no S M. 
SM or SC, it is 0 to 5 percent. How it is 0 to 5 percent? So here it is. So if it is less than 5 percent, it can be either SW or SP, correct? If it is more than 10 percent, it can be SM or SM and SP. If it is more than 12 percent, correct? Now, if it is in between 5 and 12, what you're supposed to do, you will use dual symbol. Okay. okay. So, that is, so that is why so you will have both the symbols, one from here and one from here. So why SM was used? Because it is, not, it is said here non-plastic fines. So that's why it can never be SC. Okay. But it can be SW or SP. Okay, along with SM. So that's why it is SWSM or SPSM. But to classify SW or SP, we need the values of CU and CC values, which are not given here, correct? So we have to write here insufficient data. We cannot classify further. So it can be either this or this, okay? Okay? Yes, ma'am. So you can... I will just uh, take down next one. Soil A. And the table which you had given, will it be available in, in exam also or like you need to memorize it? Hello. So soil A, we will do now. Uh, in this, uh, what is the classification soil A? That is less than fifty percent. Passing seventy five microns here. So hence it is coarse grain soil.
So next we have to see whether it is sand or gravel. So we'll do first percentage gravel. So how much is a percentage gravel? So retained on 75 micron sieve is 60% totally. So in this percentage gravel is 20% and percentage sand so not uh, 20 it is 40% correct uh, so because percentage so why because percentage passing 4.75 mm cu is 60% right so it will be 100 minus 60 so percentage gravel is 40 percent percentage sand so here it is between size 4.75 mm to 0 0.075 mm or 75 micron so in between this so totally how much percentage it is so it will be 60 minus 45 correct so because 60% is passing 4.75 and in that 45% is passing 75 micron sieve. So totally only 15% is sand and 40% is gravel. So if you observe in this, so more than 50% is retained on 4.75 mm sieve. So more than 50% of what, whichever is retained on 75 micron. So in that percentage, so more than 50% is retained on 4.75 mm sieve. So hence, it is gravel. Okay. And the primary symbol is G. So any doubts in this part? Why it is gravel? So any doubts here? So the primary symbol is. Ma gravel. I was having doubt in previous question. Previous. Yes, ma'am. Last part F uh, soil. Yes. Huh. Ma'am, uh, SW is zero to five percent. And yes, SM is, is. Mm. Yes. and SM is greater than twelve percent. So here it is ten percent. So yes, how yes. can it be SW or SP? Because the these both ranges between zero to five. See, if it is between five to twelve percent, we are going to use dual symbol, right? Dual symbol. Yes. So here I've, that time I explained, no? So if it is less than 5, what is it? SW or SP, more than 12% SM or SC. Correct. But it, if it is in between, between 5 to 12, then we have to use one symbol from here and one symbol from here. That is dual symbol we have to use. So when we can also take SW and SC. It is also greater than yes. 12. Why it is not SC? Because there is, it is mentioned here, non-plastic fines. Correct? So if it is non-plastic fines, plasticity index will always be less than 4. 4. So that is why it will be SM, not SC. Okay. Okay, I'm understood. Okay. So here is it clear why it is gravel? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So now next part we have to see is we have no now we know that it is gravel. So next we have to see how much percentage fines are present. So here percentage fines is 45%, so which is more than 12%. So it can be either GM or GC. So this will be based on IP value or plasticity index which is liquid limit minus plastic limit. The liquid limit, it is 40 minus 10. 
which is 30 percent okay now i think here they have given uh, directly plasticity index okay they're not given plastic limit so if you see here they have given directly plasticity index it is 10 percent so which is more than seven percent hence the soil is what what is the classification gc ma'am g Ma'am, you wrote more than 50% is retained on 4.75 mm CF. That is not true, no ma'am. See, more than 50% is retained on 4.75 mm CF. This is out of the one which is retained on, or you can say it as, uh, see, when you say more than 50% uh, retained on 4.75 mm CF, it is with respect to particles which are retained, retained on. 75 micron C. Okay. Can you just say percentage gravel is more than percentage sand? Ah, that also you can write. So percentage gravel, so you want to write it that way, otherwise this is confusing. Okay. So percentage gravel is more than sand. Okay. Hence, it is gravel. Okay. okay. Any doubts in this? Or we can go next. We'll go to soil B. So it is fine grained. You can see this. So more than fifty percent passing. 75 micron C. So hence fine grain soil. So next, can anyone say? Can anyone classify and tell me the value? Tell me the answer. So to just intersect in the graph. So 38 is liquid limit and 20%, 38 here, it comes somewhere here. So what is the classification? Soil is C, I. So directly from the graph we can get, we can just uh, write it as I. Soil C. What about soil C? So this is also fine grain. So fine grain soil just use a plasticity chart and you can classify. Seventy five micron C. So hence it is fine grain soil. So next, uh, we have to just use the plasticity chart. It is 62% somewhere here, and it is 18%. So this, so since it is not mentioned whether it's organic soil, we'll assume that it is inorganic. So from plasticity chart, So soil is M H or silt with high plasticity. So any doubts in this? We'll go to the last problem. So 
just note down this last one. Last problem will finish. Ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, the description table which is given in the PDF will it be there in uh, exam also or only the, the chart? Which one? The uh, the PDF which you gave for the classification system. Yes. In that there was two tables. There were. Yes. So will it uh, be there in, in exam also or we need to memorize it? For exam, I think uh, your batch. Uh, you will be having that book right formula book or something yes ma'am but in formula book they are not given like these tables are not not given. Only the chart is given so graph okay but it is not memorizing no just uh if you understand it's sufficient right but... no. formula book is already given to you Yes, ma'am. In that it is not there. No, ma'am, the chart is not there. Uh, okay, I'll let you know. Okay, I'll just uh, in the next class. Okay. Ma'am, actually, for course game, we need to we need to refer that table now. So. That's what I'm saying. For firing it, it will be easier than you'll be doing by chart. But for course, we need, need that table. So, okay. Uh, I'll just uh, check and tell you, okay, in the next class. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So, we'll solve this uh, last problem soil A. So soil A, it is coarse grain. So less than 50% is passing 75 micron sieve. So hence, coarse grain soil. The next step is whether it is gravel or sand. So we'll again now put here the so percentage gravel. So how much it is percentage gravel? So 100 minus 62. How much it will be? 38 percent. Is it okay? Yes, percentage gravel. Yeah. Now percentage sand. It will be uh, 62 minus 40. It is totally 22 percent. So here also percentage gravel is more than sand. Hence, it is gravel or the primary symbol is G. The next step percentage fines is 40% which is more than 12%. Hence it can be GM or GC. So what it is, whether it is GM or GC? So we have to GC. find IP, yeah, GC. IP will be 38 minus 20, which is 18%, more than 7%. So hence, it is GC.
the next one soil b excuse me ma'am can you go back okay ma'am the next is soil b so here also uh, you can see percentage passing 75 micron so less than 50% is passing 75 micron c so hence it is coarse grained next percentage gravel is how much so 100 minus 75 25% percentage sand it is 75 minus 15 so it is 60% is it okay 60% 25 minus 15 So percentage sand is more than gravel, hence soil is sand or primary symbol is yes. The next what we are finding out, uh, percentage finds. is 15 percent which is more than 12 percent so it can be either sm or sc so what it is can anyone say based on ip value it is 18 minus 12 it is six percent right so now six percent is between four to seven four percent and seven percent hence dual symbol okay so therefore soil is s m s c okay Yes, M, yes, C. Okay. So, any doubts in this? So any doubts in this? The next is soil C. So soil C. Um, percentage or less than 50% passing 25 micron sieve hence coarse grained soil so percentage gravel is 30 percent percentage sand is uh, 70 minus 8 which is uh, 62 percent the percentage sand is more than percentage gravel 
hence it is time or primary symbol is yes the next step percentage finds so it is 8% here so that is between 5% and 12% so we will have dual symbol so what it can be dual symbol means it can be the sw sm or sw esc or sw yes no sp sm or esp esc okay so we have to now first we'll classify whether it is well graded or poorly graded which is based on cu and cc value okay so for sand if it has to be well graded so cu should be more than 6 and cc should be between 1 to 3 correct so are both the conditions satisfied so cu is 7 and cc is 3 so here both the conditions are satisfied so 1 to 3 so it is exactly 3 and this is more than 6 okay so so the first thing it is sw okay so hence uh, yes w so what about the second one so that is based on percentage sorry uh, plasticity index so ip is 30 minus 28 which is 2 percent so it is less than 4 percent so hence here it is S M. Okay. So soil is classified as S W S M. Okay. So this way dual symbol you will get. So any doubts in this? Ma'am, here if IP would be say five percent. How much IP would be? Five. If it would be five percent. Ah, if it would be five percent. So when you then have. Uh, like, uh, no, then it will be SWSM or SWSC like that. You have to write. Okay. Okay. So any doubts in this? Okay. So I think uh, uh, I.